Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? Hey, it's June 20th, middle of the afternoon, and I got a nice story. I got a nice video to do on an article from a Trump official, okay? And here's the reason I think it's interesting, and it's about cryptocurrency, obviously. So what I've learned over the years is sometimes, sometimes, things are conspicuous by their absence. What did you say, Crypto Mentor 99? I said sometimes things are conspicuous by their absence. And that means, well, let me give an example. I heard Cliff High say at least twice that sometimes in his reports, the tokens or the projects that he's not talking about are the ones that should be talked about. Okay, but he doesn't talk about every token. But then when he does, people listen. You know, like you say, hey, how come Cliff hasn't talked about and then fill in the blank, right? So sometimes when a subject is not talked about, leads me to sometimes raise a few questions or an eyebrow like, hey, I wonder what that person thinks about this. So a Trump official argues for a sweet spot in crypto regulation. And the reason I think it's good, because sometimes when you keep silent on something, obviously you don't know what that person thinks about that subject. Is that kind of goofy talk or so Mike Mulvaney, Mike Mulvaney, he's the acting director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Why do all these departments have so such long names? Speaking at the future of FinTech conference hosted by research analysis firm CB Insights. Mulvaney also heads the Office of Management and Budget, touted his pro-Bitcoin credentials, noting that he is fiscally conservative, okay, and was one of the founding members of the Bitcoin Caucus and Blockchain Caucus. Thank you, Mr. Mulvaney. So, he goes on to say, we knew at an early point in Bitcoin that as with any developing financial technology, we needed to find a sweet spot. If Mt. Gox became a regular occurrence, it dramatically undermines confidence in the markets, no kidding, and prevents innovation, no kidding. If we overregulate and discourage people from entering the marketplace, that has bad consequences too. And I've talked about, not lately, overregulation, et cetera, et cetera. So, Read the rest of this article and let me know what you think. But I think it's good that someone of Mr. Mulvaney's experience, place in the government, that they're talking about cryptocurrencies. And it's not bad. You know, in baseball, when you swing the bat and you, and you hit the ball, you know, they call it the sweet spot of the bat, there's that distinct sound and that's what, using the baseball analogy, that's what he's talking about, about finding a sweet spot in crypto regulation. There's a balance. There's a healthy balance instead of over-regulation. Anyhow, Crypto Mentor 99, let me know what you think. Read the rest of the article. There's a couple more paragraphs. And let me know what you think. But I think this is awesome news. Let's find a sweet spot in cryptocurrency regulation. See you later. Bye-bye.